man, some of us are too knowledgeable for our own good. And some of us don't even care about the knowledge. Latest TV shows, Game of Thrones. I haven't even seen an episode, but I know everybody around me has been speaking about the ending. The fact that people are able to learn about a TV show and get attached and try to understand characters means that we're able to understand certain scenarios, people interactions, social skills, and knowledge about a world that goes on during all of that. It means every single one of us is talented enough to gain the knowledge we need to become successful in whatever we try to do. But for some of us, this is an issue because we try to collect too much information. We try to get all the information we can to try to understand what we call the big picture. All these minor details, all these small things in a project where we try to document something because we aren't ready to move on. But all we're doing when we do that is delaying the continuation or the finishing of the project. We understand it a little bit better every time we do that, but we're not making any progress. Now the flip side of this is we go into certain things without any knowledge. We get screwed. We get screwed over. You can't do division until you learn how to multiply. You can't do multiplication until you learn how to add. And you can't learn how to add until you know how to count. In these two scenarios lie the happy medium. It's totally possible to go through with something like a skill or an experience without any sort of prior experience. Think about the first time you went swimming. Think about the first time you rode a bike. All you needed was somebody to push you in that instance and then you just started pedaling. All you needed was just to allow yourself to float when you're in the pool. My first game was Super Mario Brothers for the NES. I didn't know how to read. My dad just told me there's two buttons to press, which was really just forwards and A. I didn't know you could crouch. I didn't know you could run. I just went for it. And because I decided not to question how much knowledge I needed to do to play the game, the game was fun. I could experiment. I could figure out what I needed to do. Fast forward a few years, and then I was playing turn-based strategy games. I think around the age of 10, I beat Fire Emblem, which requires a lot of reading to understand how units work. It requires understanding how certain things are stronger than the other but that didn't matter because i played pokemon without knowing how to read i played golden sun without knowing how to read and what i learned in mario was there's things that are super effective in the way that the game world works you'll get the feedback that you need just like how we swim when we swim we get feedback from the water when we use a bike we get feedback from the pedals we get feedback from the road everything we need is in the experience itself the thing is we're all able to learn on the way we're able to actually be able to adapt and gain more information by just doing stuff. The first wave of cavemen didn't have books. The first wave of medieval people didn't even have books. Only the wealthy had books. But somehow they had blacksmiths. Somehow they had tailors. Somehow they had tanners. But obviously this is going to take proper steps. If you go from a tricycle, three wheels, to a bicycle, two wheels, it'll be a lot easier than just trying to jump to a bicycle because you're already developing that balance, that confidence. Same thing with floating tools in the pool. Getting that confidence, getting the comfort of what the water feels like and how the water already works with your body. Super Mario Brothers, once you learn how to jump and you learn how to avoid obstacles, any game that you play, it'll be the exact same. You're just trying to avoid obstacles and get to objectives. But what about the people who don't try to gain any information? I mean, I'm guilty of that. Four years straight of ASU, Arizona State, I worked out at the gym. I was expecting results, but I never saw them. They never showed up because I was stupid. I thought all I had to do was the classic 15 reps, three sets, bench press, squat, deadlift. But on top of that, my nutrition wasn't even right. Top Ramen isn't going to give you that nutrition that you need to build those muscles. Chicken and eggs only has so many calories, and if I only ate two and a half meals in a day because I was on a budget, there's no way I can develop muscles. Assuming you have the steps and you have the willingness to go into any sort of world that you're trying to gain and trying to learn or trying to do whatever you're trying to do, that world will actually teach you as you go. You don't need to learn the entire art before you go into it. You don't need to actually gain the quote big picture of a skill before going into it. But most of us are paralyzed at the starting line. Either we think we need all the knowledge to start or we think we don't need any knowledge. But as long as we take the steps, as long as we build up from small, we started off from a actual starting point and we continue to gain knowledge as we go and not worry about trying to get it all, progress is a linear 
line. And if it's not, and you're actually putting in even more, now it's exponential. So for us to continue to grow on that exponential or linear line, it's not gonna have to be when we stop progress to either stop us from looking for knowledge or because we are looking for too much knowledge. So if you're paralyzed, if your line is no longer continuous and your function is no longer a rational function, it's actually not hard of a fix. All we have to do is trust the process and trust where we are. Trust that we have the abilities not to be where somebody else is, but to build on our current abilities. The next day, I guarantee you may not be better than you were a while back, but you'll be able to build yourself better than you were a while back. Thank you.